Hello everybody, welcome to How to Make Your Wife Happy and Healthy. Today we're going to continue our kitchen gadget series. We're going to take a look at a kitchen gadget that is supposed to make your life healthier as well as still tasting great. So we're going to tackle it on with a great dish recipe that I love. So you can come enjoy the recipe, enjoy the gadget, and see which one fancies your pleasure. So today's recipe is going to be a fried fish using the Slap Your Mama seasoning, a very good taste seasoning. You can make your own seasoning, but I found Slap Your Mama, if you can get it, is very tasty and we love it so much. We're going to do it in two different methods. I'm going to use an air fryer and I'm going to pan fry it to see if the air fryer will make it taste good enough to be good enough to be used instead of the pan fried version. Here are the ingredients. About a pound of thin fish fillets. Some Slap Your Mama seasoning, or whatever seasoning you want. About a third a cup of flour. You can just use regular all-purpose flour, but we have bread flour on hand, so that's what I'm using. Two eggs. About a cup and a half of panko. You can easily find it at any grocery store. You don't even have to buy the Japanese brand. About a quarter cup of oil for the pan. For the air fryer, spray on some oil spray. Our fish fillets are pretty big, so the first thing I'm going to do is cut them all in half. We like smaller fish fries. We don't want the big fillet. We want to cut it in half. So it's not so big. Now that they're all cut in half, we're going to spice them up before we bread them. It's going to be a spice them up first. It enhances the flavor of the spice. It's good to spice them up first. It's good to just put the spice on first. It gets out of the way of the bread coating. We don't have to worry about the bread coating having flavor at all. It also helps the fish the flavor. So we're going to spread on a good amount. There you go. Pretty good amount. If you're doing salt and pepper, that's also good. You might try some other blends of fish spices that you like. Then we're going to flip them over. Finish the other side. Then we'll get our breading ready. Okay, our fish are prepped. We're going to let the spices do the magic on the fish fillets as we get our breading ready. We're using a three layer system. I like to use deep bowls, that way the stuff does not get all over the place. Start with the flour. I'm going to add about a third of a cup of flour in one bowl. In the middle bowl, we're going to use eggs. So what happens? So the flour gives a place for the eggs to stick to. So without the flour, the eggs won't stick very well to the fish or the chicken or whatever you're breading for frying. Make sure I got in there. The seasoning goes on first because the seasoning is going to add the flavor and not get in the way of the bread coating. It also helps to get the fish ready for the frying after the fish. I'm not sure exactly the size behind it, but if you ever watched the channel Epicurious, they have a whole thing on fried chickens telling you about using the triple system. Always, for me, has made crisper fried. For me, it's always made it crisper when you fry it and very tasty when you add the spices on the inside of the flour. So the flour is there. Give the egg something to grab onto. The egg is there. The egg is there to get your bread coating something to hang on to. In this case, I'm going to use panko. 
And a pink going to the third bowl. Fish has the spices, flour to coat the fish. The coating of the fish allows the egg to stick to the to the fish. The egg sticking to the fish allows more panko to stick to the fish. The panko is what's going to make it crispy. One of the methods we're using is an air fryer. So with the air fryer method, you want to make sure you preheat the air fryer. It'll work better that way. So our fish is going to cook at 350 when we hit the fish bed. So we're going to preheat at 350. for five minutes, so, uh, four minutes. So it's gonna preheat, it'll work once the basket's gonna get really hot. You have the air fryer. Here's the basket, that's where you put the fish in. I'll probably be able to fit four in here, three or four, maybe only three. So I'm that one. Preheat, 350. And hit the go button. While it preheats, I will do the first batch of the fish so I can put it in the fryer. One thing that's good here technique for doing your fish, keep one hand, this is gonna be my dry hand, it only touches the flour part and transfers into the egg. My second hand will take it from the egg, make sure it's all nice and good, then into the panko. This hand's gonna get wet and messy, this one will stay dry as so we handle the next fish. It works better that way to keep one hand a little on the dry side, one hand on the wet side. Thirteen. Take the fish. The bread. One hand. See how it's coated? Nice and coated. I'm going to put it into the egg wash. That's where the other hand kicks in. Even using this bed, you still might rinse off your hands, wash your hands a few times. From the egg wash into the panko. You'll notice to keep all of them really close to each other. And this one is almost ready. For air fryer, there's one more step. We're going to have to spray it with an oil spray in case we have Pam. So the air fryer version. Take that fish and I'll spray both sides with Pam. You could dry fry it, but you need a little bit of oil to make it crisp up even better. That one's ready for the fryer. We have the others ready for the fryer, and when the fryer is ready, we'll put them in. Okay, our air fryer screen is preheating. I've rinsed off my hands. Make it easier to take it out. Take out the basket. See the basket, we're just gonna lay the fish right inside. You can see I got four of the fish fillets in there. Let's put it right back into the fryer. Go back in the fryer machine, turns back on. Hit the power button, hit the fish button. It's gonna go for eight minutes, hit play. And in eight minutes, your fish will be air fried.
While the air frying ones are going, we're going to heat up the hot pan. To a nice medium high heat. We're gonna add the oil when it gets hot. Let's start putting the fish. It'll cook three minutes per side. You also wanna get a plate ready with the paper towels when you take them off, so a place to put them. We're just gonna put it right over there. Off the stove and out of the way. Add about a quarter cup of oil, now that's nice and hot. Quarter to a half cup. Get a little oil base in there. When it gets hot off, you want to put your fish in, so it's going to nice sizzle. So you're going to follow the same method for doing the fish. One hand dry, one hand wet. Once we finish with the egg and the panko, we're just going to put it right in. Cook it for three minutes per side. That's about as much as you need. Maybe even less, depending on how thick your fish is. Remember this one, you do not need to add the oil on top of the bread coating because we're going to place it right directly into oil on the pan. Into oil it goes. And you hear the frying going on. Once you got one done, get your second one ready to go. Two of them down, two more to go. You might take practice with the amount of ingredients right for your washing, but if you ever needs more, just add some more. Scramble another egg, pour more panko in the bowl, add more flour to the other one, whatever you need to do to get it right. Just about the right amount. Let's put down the third one. Right there. Now I'm going to rinse off my hands so I can use the tongs with them. And I'll put these over in about three more minutes for the other side. I go to the first side. Golden crispy, that's what you're looking for. A nice golden crispy texture. That's good. I'm gonna go in the order of which I also know the order of which I put them in. That one's first. This one was second. Nice golden texture. I'm gonna turn the heat up a bit. That's good. Nice golden crispy texture. That one's gonna be putting the oil a little longer. We're gonna put it back a little bit in the oil. I cook up a little more, then we're going to flip that one too. Okay, our air fryer is finished, so let's go ahead and take them out, see what they look like. So here are our air fried fish. They look fried pretty well. A nice crispy coating looks like. Not so bad. Let's look at the other side. So a little light maybe on the frying part. We'll just have to see what the kids think. Facts are not so good. It's okay. Here's the fried fish using an air fryer. Okay, they might be a little bit too done. Let's take a look. They a little more than I liked them. I'll visit the air fried version. Not too bad. Let's put them aside. On the paper towels. This one's probably done the best. 
Pretty nice and crispy fry. A little bit too done, maybe. We got one more to go. Back to the last one. There we go. So there are four nicely fried fish fillets. So go ahead and taste. See what you think. I don't know if I trust is really like crispy and gives you flavor, but the fish is also really oily. It's like all the oil you put on the panties, it's soaked in. It makes it worse, if anything. Mm -hmm. The other fish doesn't have nearly as much flavor as the pan fried fish, but sad, but. It, the good part about it is that it doesn't have as much oil as the pan fried fish either. What about the crispiness? The pan fried fish is much crispier than the air fried fish. Okay, Teddy, now that you've had both, which would you rather I cook for you next time? The pan fried. Its flavor just easily overcomes the oiliness, oiliness compared to the air fry, which doesn't have much flavor, but it's not as oily. I want a lime first. The air fried fish is pretty crispy, but it's not as crispy as KFC chicken, or if they were to do fish. But the lime flavor adds a lot and it tastes better. fish isn't much crispier but it's still crispier and you can see the tiny droplets of oil but it has more flavor and it tastes better like KFC more oil so which one do you want me to make for you this one's healthier but this one tastes better since you went this far don't forget to Slap that like button just like we're using some slap your mama seasoning for our fish today. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to notify of all my new videos that come out on Mondays. And just as much as those who don't watch this part of the video, slip the word tilapia in your comment down below for a chance of a shout in my next video. Thanks for watching. Have a happy and healthy day.